It was announced by the Prime Minister in Monday's press briefing that the stay-at-home order will not be renewed when it expires on May 31. Member of the Economic Recovery Task Force and trade unionist Helene Davis-White maintains that Prime Minister Hona succumbed to pressure of announcing a date. As of June 1, persons who have been working from home since March as part of measures to contain the COVID-19 virus will be allowed to return to work. Unsatisfied with the health and safety protocols to facilitate the back-to-work order, Mrs. Davis-White, who is president of the Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions, says she will remain cautious. I think the date has to be in keeping with the work of that task force, simply because the task force is looking at all areas. From, I mean, as a member of that task force, I know that the way we operate it is to um, name sub subcommittees that would have specific responsibilities. And one of those responsibilities has to do with um, a timeline for safe um, return to work for all the areas of the economy. And to my mind, you can't have a task force working and in the midst of them working, dates are announced without any regard um, for what the task force may in fact report. She sends an appeal to members of the private sector who are part of the task force to push for a delay to the back-to-work order. The aforementioned report is expected to be ready by the middle of next month.